Okay, this video is an instructional video on how to install the seal kit on the Snow Pro 500. Um, this seal kit is designed to keep snow out of the engine compartment. A link is provided on the uh, instructions and I'm going to go ahead and start with step one. This piece of plastic right here located above the air box has two tabs on it. It pops out. The tab on either side, as you can see, it pops out and then it comes out of the side here. Down here, it pops out also. The whole thing comes out and the piece of foam goes inside of there. See the foam that I have inside of there? That fits in there just nice and tight. You start on one edge, preferably this side, which would be the side over uh, the right side of the sled. Stuff it all the way down until you see it come out by the shock on the other side. Same applies for this side. It comes all the way down, and if this snow wasn't here, up underneath here, you would be able to see where the seal is right here. Just below the cross member, right in there. Up in here is the foam. That seals that section. Replace that piece of plastic. Um, it, it's a little tough to work to get in and out of there. But it does go back in once you are completed with that section. Okay, next. This section right here, where the frame rail comes up underneath the uh, exhaust, right here, this section. All this right here, this is where it is suggested to use the Lexol. Lexol all the way around this piece of plastic. It goes all the way up around this, around the other side here, down as far as you can see the daylight underneath it you need to seal it okay it comes all the way up then I for extra measure I took and ran Lexol or you can use RTV up along this upper edge here so you can see the whole top of the along the top of that I sealed that with what's called Lexol Lexol is a sealant that is made for marine uh, it's it's quite expensive but it can be applied wet and it stays pliable as you can see here, point that like that, buddy. There you go. As you can see here, it flexes, but it doesn't tear. That's why Lexol is suggested. Where RTV would not stretch like that, it would it would pull apart and rip. Um, after putting this back together and sealing the front, there is a lot less airflow, so I took and put some heat tape over that uh, piece of plastic because it was starting to melt and just form a little bit. Now I'm going to move on with the step two of the uh, installation pro process.